So today we're going to talk about how stress and sugar can alter your pH. Now, a lot of times I get all these questions about pH. What pH should your body be? Well, here's what you need to know. Every part of your body has a different pH. The saliva, the blood, fluid inside your intestine, the fluid inside your gallbladder, inside your stomach, all these different pHs. But when we're talking about pH, whether you're too alkaline or too acid, the reference point is the blood, okay? The blood has a very narrow pH of 7.35. Let me write this down, 35 to 7.45. So seven is neutral. When it goes higher, it's alkaline. So it, the blood is slightly alkaline in a very narrow range. So if the pH rises, okay, it's more alkaline. If the pH lowers, it's more acidic. And we're basing this off of the blood. Now the pH varies if you're consuming too much sugar versus experiencing too much stress. So let's start with sugar. If you consume a lot of sugar or refined carbs, your body will tend to go more acid, okay? You develop a condition called lactic acid, where it's a situation where you're not breaking down all that sugar and there's certain byproducts building up in the blood, lactate, uh, and you're actually just forming this uh, situation where you're uh, too acidic. So the energy factor of the cells, the mitochondria, have a carburetor in there. So in a carburetor, you have fuel and you have oxygen and you have a spark plug. So this is a situation where you're dumping too much fuel into the body with not enough oxidation of that fuel. And we're getting a lot of fuel that's not being used and, it's, and your body's acidifying with the byproduct and you are getting fatigued big time. Okay. And by the way, you need B vitamin and magnesium to act as a spark plug to get that to work. So if you're deficient in B1 or magnesium, you can be tired. If you consume too much sugar, you can be tired. There's many different causes of fatigue. But when you have lactic acidosis, you may also experience restless leg syndrome. You might feel nervous. You can't relax. It's going to affect your breathing, your energy level. Your heart rate will go up. You may get headaches. So sugar is definitely one of the things that can actually make your body too acid. Uh, here's some other things. Having a liver problem, being deficient in vitamin B1, uh, drinking too much alcohol, consuming metformin could actually create this condition right here. And that's for uh, blood sugar problems. But here's the thing, metformin actually also has a side effect of a depletion of B1, the actual key nutrient to help you get rid of the buildup of lactic acid. So B1 neutralizes this. So if you're deficient in B1, you can actually develop this condition. Also, if you're taking metformin, you can de become deficient in this. So B1 is a really important nutrient to take to support the mitochondria, especially if you're doing carbohydrates and in the metabolism of glucose, and also just to actually increase your energy. So B1 deficiencies nearly always create fatigue. Now there's one more condition related to acidosis. If you're a diabetic type one, you can develop a condition called ketoacidosis where the pH really becomes out of control and causing you to hyperventilate, which then causes the body to flip and compensate and you start developing alkalosis, like the opposite of acidosis in your lungs. So it's called respiratory alkalosis. Now, you didn't need to know that, but I just want to throw that in there. All right, so now let's talk about stress. If sugar causes you to be more acid, stress causes you to be more alkaline, okay? So it causes alkalosis. Why? Because stress increases cortisol. And cortisol causes an excess loss of the hydrogen ion, okay? You can kind of look at that as an acid. So when you lose H+, plus, if you've ever taken chemistry, you're losing acid and your body's becoming more alkaline. You're also losing potassium and you're losing calcium at the same time. So you're losing these minerals right here, but the main thing is you're losing that H+, plus, which you're becoming more alkaline. Um, so the pH would be actually going higher, okay? So what are some symptoms of alkalosis? Hand tremor, okay? Confusion, lightheadedness, muscle twitching, tetany, that little twitch right here on your skin. It could be on your arm. Numbness in the face, the hands, and the feet. 
what do you do when you have these symptoms? You take apple cider vinegar, okay? And you, you get rid of the cause of the stress. You also replace the calcium and the potassium. Where do you get that from? Leafy greens. Vegetables are very important. So we want to acidify the body uh, because you're losing um, the acid and that's going to actually bring things back to balance and you're going to actually feel a lot better. And this is why the remedy of apple cider vinegar helps with that tetany or that twitching on the eye. I, I recommend it in other videos, but now you understand why. So you can see that sugar and stress have an opposing effect on pH. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?